All right, rule number three. You are not a doormat. Okay? We just spoke about respect being given or earned. All right. That means no more taking shit. Doesn't mean you can give shit either. But no more taking shit. If it's not in your job description, you don't do it. If it's not on a contract, you don't do it. That's simple. Now, if you want to go above and beyond what's on the contract, that's fine. I do. I go off the contract and I do stuff that's not even covered on my contract as a personal assistant at times in my business proposals. Why? Because I want my employer or I want my supervisor or I want whoever I'm working with to get a higher level result. Now, the thing is, though, after the fact, my friend, is that they need to be reminded that you did something off the contract. They need to be reminded. Also, you don't work without a contract. You get a contract no matter what. You have everything spelled out, everything spelled out. How much money you'll make, how many hours you'll work, what's the level of experience required, what is the level of your value to their money, what are they getting out of you. If you're a maid, and then all of a sudden you're typing up a letter, that's, you're not cleaning the house anymore. Now you're doing secretarial work. You're doing administrative work. Renegotiate your contract after an unusual task is given two to three times. If you don't, you're not really respecting yourself. You're not really respecting your gift either. Now, strange odd jobs keep coming up. It's fine. But you need to have it covered. Hey, I'm doing strange odd jobs. I think we need to rediscuss my contract.